today is um, December 27th, 2017. I am documenting uh, racketeering, organized crime involving uh, the community bank and its employees defrauding the United States uh, consumers, uh, the citizens, the legal residents, and other people who um, are being uh, defrauded by thieves and con artists. Uh, in this case, it is about uh, a man, uh, upstate New York, in Bath, New York, uh, where the community bank is, uh, who stole uh, an elderly and disabled citizen's um, uh, money, uh, $1,200, supposedly for um, an apartment that she was renting. Uh, in reality, uh, this is a scheme to steal money from uh, elderly and disabled citizens or anybody they can. Uh, this man uh, promised to um, deliver an apartment that um, he was renting and uh, he's, he promised to do the repairs and paint. However, he did not do so. Uh, he took the uh, check for $1,200. He did not give the elderly disabled citizen the key. And uh, when he said uh, he was going to um, give her the key and uh, do the repairs, um, he said he was going to have her sign a contract. None of this has happened. And the uh, community bank uh, and its president uh, and employees are aiding and abating uh, this crime uh, against the USA consumers. So this is uh, the piece of information that I could get from you, uh, from this uh, uh, criminal, these um, bank employees uh, involved in uh, organized crime. Uh, you will listen to it now. I should mention uh, before this that uh, USA consumers have 30 days to uh, withdraw from any business uh, deal or any um, purchases, purchases or any um, uh, buying of goods or services, uh, and they, uh, by law, get their money back. However, this bank is involved in racketeering, uh, organized crime, uh, and uh, of course, it's not for free. <laughs> they should get the, their piece, uh, the piece of the pie. Uh, but this is the law, and this. Uh, uh, community bank employees are well, well aware of this law. Uh, he was going to 
after signed a lease, uh, and after that he was going to give her the key, and he has not done so. So knowing that he defrauded her, you are refusing to uh, withdraw the money from this person's account and put it back into her account. Is that correct? It's very correct. Okay. You wrote that back to him.